here's some packaging of the drugs that are out on the street. This one called Scooby Snacks, I found this morning while I was taking my dog out for a walk. They may not be called bath salts anymore, but synthetic drugs are still out there. You know, young people who are using this, believing it to be safe, believing it to be legal, and therefore really didn't know what the consequences were. Teresa Wilson has made it her mission to get rid of synthetic drugs. Today, she heard that new laws are being proposed to cut down on what's for sale. She's doing it in memory of her 19-year-old son, Victor, who died last summer. He was trying to meet new friends in college, and it was something they introduced him to. One of the problems in catching up with all these synthetic drugs has been that the drug dealers stay a step ahead of the laws. Well, hopefully this legislation will change that. We don't have to wait months and months and years to, to have it uh, diagnosed by a, by a uh, lab to say that, yes, it is bad. Besides giving the health commissioner, not legislators, the job of designating dangerous drugs, the proposed law would also change what sellers can be prosecuted for. Not the ingredients, but the effect. That's exactly right, how it affects the, you know, the noids in your head and how that drug affects that. And that's really a unique way of uh, addressing this too. Albany is considering the bill, but not before legislators go home for the summer. For Teresa Wilson, it will be a summer of raising awareness to get this danger and the people who sell it out of our young people's lives. In Oswego, Laura Hand reporting.